guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you're new here. Today's video, I am coming out from my car because I want to talk about a few things that I have planned for this weekend slash week ahead. I'm currently reading Die For You by Lauren Jackson, but I'm just going to show you guys my little quick haul in the car. If you can hear the rain, I hope it's a nice little ambiance for you all. It has been raining for the last two days now. It was 36 degrees on Tuesday and it is 13 degrees today how we had bushfires over the weekend which was absolutely terrifying and it burnt over 900 hectares which is absolutely horrifying in the town that i live in so having rain really is helping out the fire fireys and i'm just really grateful that we have some rain now because we definitely need it but i'm just going to show you guys what i received so i really want to open up my water stones package because i it's this is my water stones package i ordered the special edition a good girl's guide to murder book and it came literally so quickly but i've been holding it off the last few days to open it on camera i'm just so freaking excited for this i don't want to show my if i can get a good rip on it probably not oh my gosh okay i'm so excited oh my goodness wow it's so beautiful it is stunning oh my gosh it's absolutely stunning hello i love the foiling so much and the sprayed edges oh my gosh they're so cool it's like all of pip's diary entries i assume we've got some pins oh, it's so cool i love it so much oh my gosh and the end pages stop right now this is absolutely beautiful i cannot wait to add this to my little shrine of a good girl's go to murder and i love the ribbon bookmark that is just so classic so we have like the sprayed edges and then it's just black top and bottom but the case is closed everyone knows he did it but she's about to prove them all wrong ah oh my gosh i love this so much I am so happy with this. Wow, it's absolutely stunning. This will be definitely on display on my bookshelf. I just need to make some room. Obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. And it came so quickly. I'm in Australia and this is from the UK. Waterstones, I've never had any bad experiences so far. I'm really excited to shop with them again because that was fantastic. Like it was, They were very prompt in delivering this book. I will say that for a fact. Okay, and then I have my Amazon parcel. So I got a, quite a few things. So the first thing that I got was a new Paperwhite screen protector for my iPad Air. I am participating in NaNoWriMo next month. And I don't know if you guys are interested in writing NaNoWriMo prep. If you are, let me know down in the comments and I can definitely do some videos on my NaNoWriMo in the month of November. But I got a new screen protector because I have been planning a lot on my iPad and my screen protector currently is trash. It is disgusting. I've had it for like two years. I've used it all my iPad all the time so it just needed to be changed. I also got this silicone pencil, like a silicone Apple pencil protector case for my Apple pencil because I have been writing a lot on my Apple pencil. It has started to hurt my hand like when I was writing so I wanted like something grippy for that which this is perfect. And then the couple things that I got too, I got this really beautiful emerald green like case for my iPad because I actually do have my iPad here. Let me just get it. So this is my iPad currently. It is so grimy it needs to be cleaned it has dog hair everywhere this case is so dirty yeah it's not looking nice and what i mean by screen protector it's just really scratched up and banged up and it just needs to be changed so got a new case which i'm very excited about and the most exciting product that i got as well is a new keyboard for my computer and also for my ipad because this is wireless so this is the wireless by bluetooth i have a mechanical keyboard currently on my pc setup and i have a desktop 
Now, I am writing a lot and the keys are just too clicky for everyday typing. I feel like for RPG games, I f it's fine. Like I like playing games on like mechanical keyboard, but I just wanted something that's not too clicky. So everyone doesn't get annoyed with me because I'm going to be writing every day next month. And I don't want everyone getting like, Emily, shut up with your keyboard sort of thing. So this is really cute comes with some stickers like kawaii-esque stickers which is awesome but this is beautiful sam samantha donovan on youtube has the same keyboard but in blue so i was like okay i'm gonna get it oh my gosh it is so beautiful it's so beautiful and it's not as clicky as my mechanical keyboard like it's still clicky like typewriter-esque but it's not nowhere near as like flicky as my other one so i love it i love it and it's gonna go with my case the colors beautiful i can use this for my ipad which is great but i also do have a logitech little pebble i think they're pebble keyboards with the mouse so i have the mouse the keyboard and the case so i can take that on the go as like a portable writing for my ipad i'm actually going to a library function next weekend for three hours they book out and then i'm a participant so they have you have your own space which i'm really excited about and you get provided a morning tea which is so cute so i am going to that next weekend so i wanted to have like a new case and just a new setup just to look proper you know for an anorimo now last but not least i have already opened this parcel up but i'm really excited to talk about it so glucosant reached out to me and wanted to send me one of their products so i was very happy to do that because i have been using a glucosant reading light for the last year and i'm just so excited i actually got a neck reading light and i have never owned one of these before i just have the one that clips onto your actual book but i love it so much i use it all the time it is usb-c chargeable i just love it so I got the baby pink glucose neck reading light. I will talk about this more later on when I put it to the test, but you will see my full thoughts. I'm so freaking excited. So thank you so much to glucose. I will put the discount code down in the description. It is commissioned, but if you are interested, you can buy these straight from Amazon and they will come so quick. I received mine in only a few days. So get onto it because these are amazing i love this brand a lot i have not had any issues with my reading light i use it all the time it is a fantastic reading light so i highly recommend it that is my little update that is my little haul i hope you all enjoy i my plans for tonight is i'm going to be reorganizing my desk i may show some clips of that because i want to make it cozy for next month and it's really important to me that i get in a good headspace to write as I want to feel creative. I want to feel motivated and having a clean workspace is very important for that specific reason. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. I'm working a weekend as well. So I don't have a lot of time really to do much reading, but I definitely will read what I can of Die For You tonight. I'm just really enjoying it. It's a very fast read. I have only been reading snippets here and there over the last few days and I'm only like already 100 pages in so it is definitely a quick read i'm having a good time with it it is reading like vampire diaries and i love the show so much i have rewatched that show i don't know how many times now i'm absolutely obsessed with it, it is my guilty pleasure i will re-watch it for the rest of my life properly i love it so much i am team demon all the way but that is all for me <laughs> obsessed with this light so as you can see it's currently on a warmer setting and i don't want to blind you all but there is three different controls so there is three different controls so that's off oh. so one two three and that's on both sides so cool and then you just click it off 
So there's two other temperature settings. So we have warm, white, and a blue light. I am so happy with this. Thank you so much to Glucosant for sending me one of these neck reading lights. There is two other reading light options available on their Amazon storefront and on their website. I'm just very happy to have this in a really cute pink color. So yes, they work a treat. what is this weather on tuesday it was 36 degrees we had bushfires which was horrifying and now it is cold i have track pants on a jumper i have a blanket i'm drinking a cup of tea and i'm reading my book like what is this spring doing to us seriously am i i'm going to get sick from the fluctuation of the weather it's ridiculous Hello friends, so I'm coming on here to do another reading update. I haven't done much reading over the last few days, but I thought I would let you know that I did finish Die For You by Lauren Jackson and I ended up giving it a 3.5 stars. Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed with this read. I thought it was a very quick read, I'm not going to deny that. I read this within like a matter of days. I did enjoy my time reading it, but I just felt like it was a little bit repetitive and cringy. And yes, I do read a lot of cringy romance, paranormal romance, but this one was just really cringy to me. The romance felt like it was reading YA instead of New Adult, which this is a New Adult paranormal romance series. The main characters were very cringe towards each other. Like, I don't know. He Hunter had this nickname for Raya, and it was just so cringy to me because it was reused so many times. Like in every other sentence i don't know i just i was really cringed out by it and particularly because it is a italian word so i i was just imagining him speaking it in like this italian accent but like obviously he's australian but i could just imagine him saying that word in italian because it was like an italian word i don't know i don't know i just felt like it was a little bit cringy but i did enjoy the aspect that it was set in australia i thought that was really interesting and obviously vampires but again it was very insta lovey we kind of get that because they are bonded but it was just too excessive in the terms of repeating oneself about the bonding like we heard about how often they were bonded or how they want to be near each other every other chapter like every beginning of a new chapter it's something to do with them touching each other or not being close enough to each other so that was just like the repetitive aspect i'm not saying that was bad i enjoyed that part i enjoyed the magic system the magic system was very similar to the vampire diaries in terms of vampire abilities i suppose most vampire series is the same but that's just how i felt about this so overall it was a 3.5 i still really did enjoy my time reading it obviously it was a very fast read so i'm very happy about that another read that i have recently picked up that is the selected works of edric Allan poe i have been reading the short story of the fall of the house of usher so this this collection basically has most of his short stories in here there is 16 of his short stories in this collection and i love this edition as well i love the collins classics they're very unique but in particular, I'm reading The Fall of the House of Usher because I have been watching the show on Netflix and I wanted to read the original work that has been inspired by this show. And I can see why it is very eerie. Edgar Allan Poe's writing is very gothic and I absolutely love that. I'm loving gothic horror at the moment. The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson was also a gothic horror and I'm just really enjoying the classic style of writing. I am really enjoying this even though I have only read maybe like 
six pages of the story. I'm still really enjoying my time reading it. The Fall of the House of Usher short story is yet yeah, 17 pages, but I know that T. King Fisher, the What Moves the Dead, I think it's what it's called, is a reimagining of the fall of the house of usher as well so i want to pick that up in due course i know my library has it available because i did borrow it but i just didn't have time to read it so i had to return it but i definitely will be reading more of this short story collection i have already read a couple of edgar Allan poe's tales in comic format i read the i have read the murders in the rue morgue which was a comic that i read a few months ago and I really enjoyed it as well and I have also read Telltale Heart in comic version as well. I know that The Raven is meant to be one of his best short stories as well so I will be reading that after The Fall of the House of Usher but I am entertaining as well because I have a lot of thoughts with the writing style. Love it. So that is my update. There is the two books that I have been reading plus It by Stephen King on audio. I haven't been reading much else but this afternoon I really want to make some Halloween cupcakes as it is Halloween today. Happy Halloween everyone. I am just really excited to make cupcakes. I had I did this last year. I made Halloween inspired cupcakes. I have a few little gummies that I want to use and I have this silicone mold that I'd like to try out. It's going to be all trial and error because I don't bake or decorate enough but that's fine. It's all about having fun so that's what I will be doing. That's it. I'll talk to you all when I have an update. come on here to do my outro for this vlog i did finish the fall of the house of asha by edgar Allan poe i did annotate majority of the story it is a short story it was roughly around 17 pages i think maybe longer i don't know 17 ish pages but very strange very very strange the writing style i feel like i need to be a little bit smarter to understand some of the dialogue between the inner dialogue of the main character so we basically are being told in the first person about this character going to visit his old friend which was Roderick Usher and he goes to stay with Roderick Usher at the house of Usher and pretty much he gets the weird vibes straight away going to the house he thinks that you know the house is eerie and unsettling there is moss and overgrown fungi in the house, around the house, etc. And then Lady Madeline died and Roderick wanted to keep her body for two weeks. He he requested that he would keep her body in the house for two weeks. And they buried her in a tomb under the house. So forth. Roderick is a hypochondriac from what the main character was saying. He was afraid of getting sick and he ended up going insane towards the end and that's basically what the premise of the short story is there is 
something that happens to Lady Madeline that refers to the show adaptation from this story. The first episode of the show on Netflix, the same thing happened in this book but with a different character because Madeline, I don't know if it's a different character, Lady Madeline might have been the mother, I don't remember, but in the show we have Roderick and Madeline, they are twins. So that was that. But basically the ending was quite sad because death happens and the show that's why i wanted to read it is because the show has so much death so i wanted to see what the original short story was all about last book that i have been listening to is a haunting on the hill by elizabeth hand i am just 50 percent into that now i'm really enjoying it it is a continuation of The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. It is in the same world as The Haunting of Hill House. We follow new characters. So we follow Holly and Nina. I think that's her name, Nina. I don't know. I don't think that's right. But anyways, we follow those two. They are a gay couple and they are... So Holly is a play writer and Nina is a singer-songwriter. So Holly is currently trying to get back onto her grind of writing a play that will be the next best thing and she had grown inspiration previously and one of her best known plays was actually kind of really fucked up because she took inspiration from a mental patient that she didn't realize at the time but had pulled full inspiration from her being schizophrenic and so they go to hill house and well she finds hill house on her like little getaway trip and then goes to see if they can hire it out for a few weeks and rent it out. The person who now owns Hill House did not want anybody to stay there, but as it's like a temporary contract, she couldn't really say no. So Nina and Holly pack their things up and they move to go and stay at Hill House for two weeks. And they have another they have another play actor who has come with them his name is sam and they're good friends with him and then there is also another woman who they have hired to come and be a part of this play she's very well known and is in her 60s so then she meets them there at the hill house there is a caretaker that stays there but as always from the original book the haunting of hill house the caretaker did not want to stay after dark so she refuses to stay after dark and is continuously telling them to be careful and there is a woman who lives in a kind of like a caravan i would say who looks after hill house who keeps an eye on hill house very eerie very eerie things come from that lady but that's basically where i'm at at the moment nothing really has happened in hill house there has been some instances where holly has heard kind of laughing sort of noises at night time before she's going to sleep obviously just a very eerie vibe we had sort of like a cameo where eleanor was mentioned because they had said 60 years ago a lady ran into a tree that was eleanor as you would know if you have read the haunting of hill house it is iconic i could not recommend that book enough it was so gothic absolutely love the atmospheric vibes whereas this one the new haunting on the hill is definitely giving more paranormal-esque sort of vibes because the haunting of hill house wasn't particularly paranormal but the house itself was what was triggering all of these visions and things to come to life to eleanor but that's basically where i'm at with that book i'm hoping to finish that possibly in the next few days we'll see how we go anyways I'm going to close this vlog off now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all had a lovely week please don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really helps my channel grow and i'll see you on my next one bye